seven ways XRP will be used in the real world. Because out of all the 2,000 cryptos in existence, there are only a handful of currencies that operate as a real currency. If you haven't paid attention to XRP yet, I've spent 800 hours researching XRP and I cannot believe how some people are still blind to the opportunity that is presented right in front of their face. The financial system has played big brother and you've been the subject of the games your whole life. This video is an opportunity for you to open your eyes and escape. The more you know about XRP and the way it can be used in the real world, the more informed you'll be when taking the next step. These are details you don't want to miss. The truth about money is that it does a terrible job at being money. But there's a chance you didn't know that. So let's answer it. Why is money bad at being money? When you send money from a bank to a bank or country to country, it takes three to five days. And just because you see a number in your bank account doesn't mean it's actually there. The money you see in your account is just basically an IOU, but they don't tell you that. XRP offers something called instant settlement. Now settlement is the word you use to define the moment when money actually lands at its destination. And because XRP can settle payments in three to five seconds, it removes all the issues we see in cross-border payments. Now payments are obvious, but this next one isn't. If you're investing in crypto, listen up. With the bull run coming, many of you are going to be thinking about profits, but very few of you have actually thought about what you're going to do with those profits. My fear is that this bull run happens, you make loads of money and you go out and buy Lamborghinis and pointless stuff. Or even if you have good intentions and you go out and buy houses for your family members, but doing that is going to cause you more pain than gain. And you're going to be back working the same old job you used to, and you'll be just like those failed lottery winners. But what the smartest minds in this space are doing is preparing to use their XRP as collateral for loans. Now, if there's any moment to take notes, it's now. Here's how it works. After the bull run, you have a large crypto portfolio. You take that crypto and bring it to a loan provider. That could be a bank or any kind of financial institution that does loans. They give you a loan and the cash that they give you as part of that loan is tax free. Let me say it again, tax free. You use that tax-free cash and you buy cash flowing assets like property or dividend yielding stocks. As long as you're generating a cash flow from that loan that is a higher percentage than the repayment of the loan, essentially what you're doing is paying off the loan and earning a little bit more on the side. Now, what happens over time is you end up paying off that loan. So the loan is gone now. You still have your XRP, but you've also now still got the cash flowing asset. This is a retirement structure. And did I mention? that it's tax free. <laughs> and these are the things that they don't want you to know. Do you remember the days when the only legitimate way to get a song was to buy it for 99 cents on iTunes? Well, those kinds of little transactions, they have a name. It's called microtransactions or micropayments. And even though when you make those payments, they seem instantaneous, they're not. The money that you paid for that track was only settled three to five days later. And if you have a business, you'll know this very well. Or for that matter, if you've ever used PayPal, the way that it works is there's a percentage fee plus a certain amount of cents or pence per transaction. On PayPal, I think it's like 3% fee and then a 20 cent charge on top of that. But when you're looking at micro payments, the maths just ain't mathing. Because if you're paying for something for 60 cents, for example, the 3% charge is about 1.8 cents. Then you're adding 20 cents on top of that in fees. So now you're paying 21.8 cents, but the sale was only 60 cents all of a sudden given away 30% of the money that was paid to you. But if you have a transaction that's a million dollars, it's 3% plus 20 cents. Like the benefit is really just weighted on the higher transaction. And for that reason, micropayments are just horrible. If XRP handled micropayments, not only would those payments be three to five seconds very fast, but the fees associated with that transaction would be so low, it's almost pointless to even pay attention to the fee. Like it wouldn't even factor into your decision. Clearly using XRP for micropayments is the play. Now, 99% of people do not understand how screwed up the banking system really is. If you've ever tried to get all of your money out in one go from the bank, they would tell you a big fat juicy no. It's like being told that you own a car, but you can't drive it. One of the other ways that the banking system is completely screwed is something called Nostro Vostro accounts basically meaning ours and yours. Now I told you I was gonna make it easy for you to understand, so here we go. If America wants to pay China 
but China don't want dollars, America have to send Chinese yuan. So America has to hold yuan in their bank. If America runs out of yuan, they can't trade with China. You don't have to be an expert to understand that that's a system that's bound to fail. When you don't have money to pay another country, that means you don't have liquidity. Liquidity is just cash that's readily available to go. And this is what started taking banks down last year. The lack of liquidity. We've already seen the cracks in the system, and I think there's going to be more. But XRP has a unique function that allows it to be somewhat of a middle currency. Instead of the bank, the American bank, needing yuan, all they have to do is convert their dollars into XRP and XRP into yuan. And this removes the necessity for any bank to have these Nostro Vostro accounts with foreign currencies. Now, talking about inefficient systems, what most people don't realize is that XRP can change the way energy moves around the world. Not so long ago, I think you probably remember, gas stations were all of a sudden running out of gas. Like, that's the first time I've ever heard that happening. And maybe it's the same for you. And XRP could be the sole reason that never happens again. So let's go back a bit. When you're extracting oil out of the ground, in order to bring it from that crude oil into a more refined oil, like the type of oil you would put in your car to refill it, different companies along the process have their different systems for filtering out and changing the chemical balances of that oil so that it can fit its purpose at its destination. Now, these companies along the way have to make their money. But let me blow your mind with something about the energy sector. Getting paid in those processes takes 90 days. Now, money's not even that slow, but the energy sector and the way that all works does operate that slowly. Three months to get any money. Meaning that early down in that process, if something goes wrong or the prices go up or something happens in that process, it causes a massive chain effect and would hit the public in three months. This is just a terrible system. Now, much of that would be resolved if companies got paid quicker. What's cool about blockchain is that everything's recorded and updated instantaneously. So conceptually speaking, you could add a device on the pipe that brings the oil out the ground, and it could measure how much oil is going through the specific parts of the process. And with that information and that data, you could then pay the providers of the services all along the supply chain instantaneously. This would be real-time, up-to-date payments versus three months. Now, this doesn't have to be oil. This could be gold, silver, diamonds, or anything else that makes the world go round. Now, that's all very abstract, but there is one way XRP can be used that would affect your day-to-day -day life. Imagine if you could make passive income from the house you live in. The biggest problem about living in the house that you own is that you're completely dependent on the capital appreciation that the house price going up over time. And if you're not renting out your spare room, there is zero passive income opportunity from your house. But the next concept is gonna change the game. Most of you think you own your own home, but in reality, you don't. As long as you have a mortgage or pay property taxes, the government or the bank still have control. If you stop paying your house off, if you stop paying your mortgage or stop paying your taxes, the house is getting taken. And it doesn't even matter who buy. The fact is, it can be taken. So I hope I emphasize the point that your house isn't yours. Now, you might have heard of a term called equity release. Now, I want you to think about tokenization as the same concept, but on the blockchain. Kind of like breaking your house up into multiple different pieces and allowing people to buy and hold and sell and trade those pieces of your house. Now, the great thing is you can determine how much of your house you get to keep and the terms by which you've given those pieces of your house to other people. So the great thing is, is that you can have an equity release, you can relieve some of the equity in your house to get paid in the short term a lump of money that you can use for investments or whatever you want to do with that equity. But I think the main benefit of equity release is that you get money in the short term while there are no passive income opportunities and you don't want to wait 20 years for the house to go up in value, you just want some money now. It's like making your house into a, a business that other people can invest in. But in the meantime, giving you some capital to do what you need to do. So tokenization and the movement of XRP as the value that represents those tokens is going to be fundamental in all of that. For the final way XRP is going to be used in the real world, I want to share a story. I remember the day that I realized cash was over. I bought a coffee, as you do, and the question came to me, once I paid that, once I tapped my card, where did that money actually go? And if you think about it, it takes three to five days for that tap to land in anyone's bank account. 
But imagine if there's 10 people on that distribution line, the, the farmer at the end, the, the person who makes the coffee cups, the provider of the beans, the transport systems delivering the beans, the salaries of the workers at the coffee shop. They all get paid three to five days delayed. So if you've got 10 people in that chain, it might be 30 days by the time someone gets paid. If this was all done using XRP, the time delay would be significantly shortened. So from tapping my card to the person at the end of the chain is in seconds instead of weeks. So if my digital tap to pay for a coffee is that slow, imagine how much slower it is with real cash. That's when I knew when crypto is adopted, cash is bye-bye. Remember, every opportunity starts with an open door. You have to decide to walk through it. So this video, at the very least, has given you the framework of what to look for in these new technologies. And I really hope you do something with that. Now I've explored seven use cases for XRP, but there are 2000 cryptocurrencies. And in one of my upcoming videos, I'm gonna share my top picks for cryptocurrencies that you should really be looking at that aren't XRP. So hit subscribe with the notification bell on so that you're notified when that video goes out. Stay emotionless. I'll see you in the next one.